So how do you empower yourself? Good question. Well, you, you have to look at needs versus want. There's this hierarchy. I can't remember the fellow's name. Look it up. Okay. But you need air, right? You need food. You need water. You need shade, right? You need uh, quiet time, right? Whatever. Okay. Take the time. Take 10 freaking seconds out of your day and make a list of what you need and then make a list of what you want, okay? And then you can go and figure out how much time and how much money and da 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 but uh -uh, okay? Prioritize your needs, okay? And then ask yourself the ones near the top, you know, the big ones, are those ones you can do yourself? Can you get water yourself? Can you grow your own food? Can you collect your own electricity? Maybe you can. If you can do these things, why are you paying for them? I'm not saying, like, personally, my belief is, you know, we should all wander into the trees and abandon money and, you know, and, haha, Native Americans had it all figured out, you know, 2,000 years ago. But, hey, what do I know? If you are able to do it yourself, do it yourself. And then when you have excess, there you go. That is your currency. Not excess money. When you grow your own food and you have extra food, now you can sell, trade, and process that, right? If you grow your own livestock, if you uh, make your own scented candles, whatever, okay? But as soon as you're living off of your own means from the ground up, starting with those basic needs first, right? Not last. If <laughs> What good is it to have all of this if somebody can switch off your water and power at the moment's notice. See what I'm saying? Take care of all of your own needs first, and then the stuff that you want to be comfortable, then that's what you're putting your effort into. You're not busting your ass to keep rent. You've already made your home. You've already put food on the table. Now you're busting your ass because you want the, the creature comforts.